Welcome back to Occupus Strip. Could you, could you at least let me load up the Game Boy? No. Fine. fine. All right, you want to do it again? No, no. I mean, you, you could just say, welcome back now. Welcome back now <laughs> <laughs> to, to Occupus Strip, the game where we take off people's clothes against their will, and then they die. Yeah. We have to. We have to save the world by taking off people's clothing. I was going to say women, but it's all it's, kinds yeah, of people. It's, we're not discriminating. No, here. we do men, women, everything so, in between. So it's not like we're being like super pervy, you know? Oh, crap. My TV's way too loud. Dude, it's so loud. That's just the volume I put in when I edit. Dude, it's not like we're being like pervy, you know? Yeah, of course not. This is hey. socially acceptable in Japan. In hey. case you didn't, if you go to Japan, do this. <laughs> they actually take it as a compliment. You just snake around. Yeah, you just whip your body with around your on DSLR the camera. <laughs> oh man! And take those high quality pictures of upskirts. Oh boy! Oh shit! Dude, these are some some dope ass cosplays. Are these our friends? These are our friends. Yeah. Oh wow! Yes. Her tits look smaller. In they this do. Place. They look way smaller. Like a lot smaller. Like, did she even have like? After this, see, like, look, they look like they have the same so size now. Where before, the blondie was no, way bigger. The girl next door looks like her tits are bigger. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. she caught up. <laughs> yeah, she looks like she doesn't have titties. Yeah, she looks. Look at this. She looks like she's 12. That's my chest, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's my chest. Sans the hair. But all right. What do you think? How do you like our SP cosplay? Or maybe what she's doing, right? Maybe what's going on is that she doesn't wear a bra with the other stuff. Mm hmm. Um, right, and so like they just like all hang out, hey, and so with this she's wearing like something about? really tight, so it's like pushing it in. I mean, I oh, feel like she's... Check out that super high but it would still be way bigger than the others. Like look at look at them. Just just like <laughs> you're right. Like the more I look at it, the 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 yeah, like the, see, like her her yeah. straps, her the pink straps are like just laying flat across yeah, and the chest, hers. and hers are contouring toward like to her boobs. This Please, does not represent <laughs> what those numbers told us. Yeah, remember. Right? I, I realize that those are breast measurements, but I don't know exactly what like they yeah, re they represent. I don't know how Japanese people because I, I yeah no it's it's I think it's like a standard unit of measurement for oh no for, it is but I'm just saying like in at least in America they use the cup size uh -huh. plus like um I guess inches or something mm -hmm. where over there they use the centimeters for everything and it's like okay but. Yeah! Together, wow! Yeah! See? Okay. okay. Now, now she her looks tits appropriate. Look, yeah. Now her tits look like the biggest. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. I mean, still prism. Yeah. Still, I think I, the yellow one is like, I, I, the straps just contour to her breast yeah, better. Yeah. It, it is. Does it feel weird that we're talking about this? Like this is the main topic what we're really talking about right now? Because it doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel weird. I mean, it's not weird, but. <laughs> Only because we're not doing it in like a pervy way. Like we're being like objective. Like why are they look so different? Yeah, they like based on the previous renders of the character, they should be like this. Like imagine if your friend showed up to you and her tits were twice as big. I'd be like, wait, wait, wait. Right. What what happened? Like you wouldn't just you wouldn't it wouldn't be weird because it's fucking different. You'd just be like, wait, what the hell did you do to yourself? I would have to call attention to it. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's, like, a, a good friend, not just somebody I met, like, the other day. Well, I wouldn't call that a friend. Okay, I guess. I I, I think I have you a looser have, definition of friend you to you because that's how I roll. Sinisters. Yeah, I, I like to be very specific and yeah. precise with my words. What's your problem, you little cosplay bitch? Damn! Jesus! You little cosplay you, you little, bitch. You little cosplay bitch. I'm just trying to holla at you. Holla, 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 holla. <laughs> I just want to get your he's, number. He's a Rin I fan. Uh, yeah. Punish you. Hey. What's what? going on? They putting They're on getting a really. Our, our friends are getting really into the cosplay. Oh, oh okay. Cause I'm yeah. like, that, be good. What? why did they get all weirdly dramatic yeah. out of nowhere? <laughs> oh, get out the cameras. Prepare this ought to be good. Judgment. People are gonna watch us beat the shit out of this big ass group of people. Oh, people are into murder. Fucking porn. yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Fucking get him! Ow! Oh yeah, he's got that sidekick. Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh, so wait, but all your all your girls are here to help. Yeah. You. Oh shit. That's okay. hot. I guess. Alright, I'm trying to remember how to Except do that. Except they're kind of getting fucked up. Oh, yeah! Blondie's fighting too. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta warm up on the chick first. Fucking got him! <laughs> oh my god. I love that move oh, so much. so good. Ha. That is glorious. <laughs> Fucking got him! I like how you're kind of impervious. Yeah. When you do that. Oh! 
Oh! Yo, he's got a pretty big meat stick. Oh no! Oh, come on! She went got forward. him! She went down below, man. That's a low blow. Oh, so like, we kind of got it wrong. Uh. Yeah! The episodes went up before Game of Thrones came out. Oh, really? Yeah, so like, Game of Thrones came out yeah. yesterday for us. <laughs> Did you get to watch it? No, I haven't watched oh, it yet. Oh, man. Actually, what I'm probably gonna wait to do is just like, watch it with, Bun watch it when it's all done. Yeah. yeah. It's only four episodes this season, right? Um, is it? I think so. No! I'm pretty sure. Come on! No! Fuck! Because they're doing like, a shorter season. Woo! 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 Anyways, I think we talked enough about that Woo! last week. Yeah, let's let's move on to another topic. Let's move on to the topic we were talking about earlier. Um, like, uh... So, do you remember... Does anyone like watching this remember the Dragon Ball Z oh, Legacy that... of Goku games? See, now, those games, I didn't really know and. Until like way after they came out, because I got that one used. Uh huh. Um, so guys, I own the game, and that's how the conversation came up because I have it on my table, and can you all saw it? Um, that cartridge is used. I bought it at GameStop used because I love Dragon Ball Z, and I had a Game Boy Advance, like, and I was like, though? let me get that, right? <laughs> but I had no clue that there was a whole bunch of them. I just thought that was the only there, one. There's like a series, and it's an yeah. amazing series. It's more like an action RPG. We were talking about this earlier. So for those of you out there, it's not just your standard DBZ, you know, fighter game. You actually play as Goku, but you're weak as shit. Give and me you that have to, shit! Like, <laughs> you have to get stronger over time, you know, you, like any RPG, you know, you, 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 you do tasks and missions and you get experience so that you can level up other abilities. This is mine now! I'm sorry, what were you saying? I, I was not paying- oh, oh, fuck you! Oh, she thought she could get you. Right? Too slow! Dude, that's this is fucking mine! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking vicious! These moves are too good. They are so amazing. Like, I'm a martial arts master. Look at the takedown. I'm about, I'm about to just oh. go for his penis. <laughs> uh-uh. You old bitch. Yeah. Mine now. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> ah, martial arts. Damn. Karate. Money, yay. Ugh. Right in the face. Like, yeah, like in the forehead. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're with giving the her a concussion. <laughs> Dude, how many clothes? Oh, all right. There Once it this is. This combo is done. Yeah. <laughs> How I about like, this? I like how it's like your martial artist genius by ripping off these people's clothes, <laughs> you know? Oh, there's still some left. Oh, fuck I know. Guys. Um, so also what Ricardo and I were talking about were how some games, like, they make you feel inclusive, and those are, like, games that you really like. Like, um, I don't know if anybody's played those Yu-Gi-Oh games where, like... Oh my gosh, yeah. So... Talk, talk, talk more about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, another cartridge you saw on my table was, um, an old Game Boy Advance Yu-Gi-Oh game. I forgot what the name was. Um, it's... They're the Game Boy Advance ones that everybody knows about, to be perfectly honest. Um, they make two of them. Um, and... Yeah, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Worldwide Edition. Worldwide Edition. And, like, the way the game plays is they put you in the... Like, as a new right character. Right in the anime storyline. Yeah. So, as, as it's one of the Yugi's Battle friends. City. Yeah, you're one of Yugi's friends in the Battle City tournament. If you remember that, if you watch that, I don't know Dude, why was, I fucking remember that, that but I do. That was the best arc. It was the second arc, right? Yeah, right it, after it was the, the best. The right after, um... Duel's Kingdom? Yeah, Duel's Kingdom. Or, or if that's what it was called, I don't know. With Maximilian? Hey, guess this. Yeah, and so oh. this is when they actually brought in the official rules, like sacrificing monsters yeah. and, and uh, you know, all those actual card effects and not being able to use Catapult Turtle to blow up the gravitational ring around uh, the fucking yeah, castle. Yeah, to kill and, all of somebody's monsters. Yeah, or to blow up the moon, right, or whatever it was. And so, um... That was like the best arc, and it, it was it was it was really fun to watch. I really enjoyed it. That basic that's basically how I learned how to play the game, um, before I got a little older and actually read the rule book. Anyways, this game follows the, the actual rules. You can input your own cards, so your real life game can be in the actual video game. You can have uh, it's easy to get cards in the game, so you don't have to worry about like playing with garbage cards for so long. Also, I think the best part of the game was that fact that they put you in the story, you know? Of course, yeah, yeah, you're part of the story. So, like, you're helping Yugi, you're helping Kaiba, you're helping all these guys out to defeat, um... What are they called? The, the... 
bitch crusade. I can't fucking remember. Like the card hunters or yeah, whatever. Yeah, rare hunters. The rare, rare hunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Like basically just the bad guys, and you are playing the story arc, but as yourself, not You're as helping Yugi. them out. Yeah. And the fact that they made you feel like a part of the story was the best part of the game. An important part of the story. Yeah, like yeah. like you weren't just like, oh shit, he's here and he's taking care of like bones and, and weevil or whatever. Yeah. He's actually like, shit man, you're, you're helping us take down Merrick, you're our good friend. Yeah. And I think if more games did that, they don't even have to be like show. big huge games like Xenoverse. Like if more games did like an action RPG or like whatever the system is costume. that included you into it, I feel like I'm a lot more games, like, they, they could milk that shit for a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about no, DBZ, no, just no, how how cool it would be if we would start out in the Turtle Herman school with, with Master Roshi, just like Goku and, and Krillin, Krillin did yeah. in Dragon Ball, right? So and just train up and go to the martial arts tournament and fight there. Maybe not win your first time, but, like, fight there and yeah, like, eventually part win. Of, like, a, a reasonable part of the story. Like, you're obviously not going to be, you know, better than Goku, or at least, like, not right off the bat, but yeah. you're a respectable part of the story. And... I, I mean, this is just like a nerd dream. I'm sure many of you have had this kind of like idea as well. But now let's continue this conversation in the next episode. Oh man, we're done already. Yeah, we're, we're at that time. But guys, come back tomorrow. Make sure to leave your comment about what you think about. And tomorrow we'll continue the conversation. Yeah, we'll talk more about, better, I, I guess, other ideas of games that they could implement that kind of thing into. Um, yeah. So see you next time. See ya. It's fucking fire.